Welcome into the halftime show here on the PAC Sports Network for our coverage today of the Grove City Wolverines and the Franciscan Barons. And we're now joined by head women's basketball coach for the Franciscan Barons, Coach Sean Kirk. Coach, really good to get you on the show today. First off, just want to hear how the season has been for your team overall and just what are some of the takeaways that you've had so far up until this point? Yeah, no, thanks, Jack, for having having me on. Um, it's always an awesome opportunity to get interviewed by you guys and what the PAC Sports Network does is amazing. So, um, yeah, this year it's been it's been a lot of ups and downs for us. We did a, um, I thought right before Christmas break we were uh, playing some of our best basketball. We we were able to beat Teal on the road and then had a close game against LaRoche, you know, one of the top teams in the AMCC, and then a really great game against W and J here at our place. Um, and, you know, then Christmas break hits. We took a 10 day layoff. Um, and then we come back. Uh, we did not have our leading score, Madison Doan, leading score, leading rebounder, Madison Doan, um, for six, six or seven games. Um, and it was, you know, trying to figure out how to score in those games was, was challenging. But um, we got her back now. And we, we saw some really good things against Allegheny this past Saturday. Um, and we hope that, you know, that we hope that's continuing right now since this is pre-recorded, but we hope that's continuing right now in the first half against Grove City. Um, but yeah, we're still trying to find our rhythm, you know, starting four sophomores and a junior. And then when Maddie was out, we started three sophomores, a junior and a freshman. Uh, we're still relatively young, but they're growing together. We finally got, um, you know, we've been playing a zone defense. We made that adjustment here um, in probably about a month ago, two months ago now. And it's been working for us. You know, we've been able to create some turnovers. And then offensively, we run a five-out motion. So trying to get that um, working and everyone on the same page does take some time. So, uh, but like I said, we were hitting our stride in, you know, mid-December and then Christmas break hits. And now we're just trying to re regroup and just get back on that track again. Well, you mentioned the point about your team being very young, 14 freshmen and sophomores combined on your roster for this season, which I know for you, you're, you're kind of like, wow, you know, that's that's a lot of inexperience on the <laughs> roster. But I am curious to hear from you. Where have you seen the growth? Where have you seen the maturity in this young group up into this point? Yeah, our leadership, you know, we got a couple great, you know, uh, juniors and sophomores that have really uh, stepped up and lead, led um, something we missed last year uh, when we had all sophomores and freshmen. Um, so, you know, to see a sophomore, be, you know, sophomores becoming juniors and, and those freshmen becoming sophomores, you know, that year of maturity has helped. Um, and, you know, we've been able to push the pace a lot, you know, on the court. Um, and that's something we want to continue to look to do. Um, and just understanding, you know, the decisions, that's something we work on every day in practice. Um, but the energy and the effort's always been there that, that goes with this freshman group we brought in this year. Um, you know, I always tell the team, you know, everyone tells us we play really hard and I don't have to coach that. And that's been tremendous. But now it's OK. Now we got to figure out all right, what decision, what right decision do I have to make? Um, you know, when I catch the ball on the wing or uh, we're trying to play faster, my rim runner is not open. What's the secondary read? So trying to do those things each and every day um, in practice. But, yeah, um, they've been enjoying the coach. I know that, you know, like you said, 14 freshmen, sophomores, the and the four juniors we have, you know, everyone has been, you know, great. They've been getting extra shots up in the gym and they've really, you know, have taken ownership of this program, which is very good to see at such a young age. And I do think we're we'll hit our stride um, probably at the end of this year and then starting to go in the next year. Um, there's been a, definitely a turn of taking this program seriously. Not that it wasn't there in the past, but just, you know, watching the juniors and sophomores be like, yo, this is how we play things at Franciscan. We play really hard. And if someone's not playing to that level, they're holding each other accountable. So that's been great to see. Well, how do you feel that the the four juniors on your team have kind of developed into being, you know, more leaders and, and really kind of taking on that role of the leaders on this team with them not being, you know, again, yeah. not having any seniors there with them. They are also, again, still very few juniors on the team, only four. <laughs> so, I mean, wh wh how much have you seen them become, you know, leaders in their own right and really see this this younger group of players kind of lean on them for advice? Yeah, no, that's something that um, has been really great for us because that junior class went through COVID um, was their freshman year. And then last year they were sophomores and they were pretty much leaders in the locker room by being sophomores, you know, which you don't really hear a whole heck of a lot. It takes a very special person to do that. Now they're juniors. Um, and it's Sophie LaRose is a captain for us and she's done such a great job on the floor. I always tell her she's our, our most consistent person, both on and off the court. And she, she can reach so many different people in so many different ways off the court and conversations. And then on the court, she just looks to make the right play. Um, 
she's been terrific for us, you know, just setting the tone in our transition defense, making sure we're sprinting back and everything. And, and she does a lot for us, um, you know, on the little things that may not show up in the box score. Um, she did have a good game against Allegheny though. So um, scoring it. Uh, and then Ashley Benson, she's, she's pretty much a coach on the bench and she does a really good job. She doesn't play a whole lot, but her value comes in practice and she'll bounce questions off of me. Um, and then she'll, you know, be talking to her teammates and everything, but she just sees the floor and sees the game so well um, and understands, you know, the next play, like, hey, they're playing you this way. We got to do this. Um, and then Natalie, um, she's a defensively, she's she's great. And I say she's always one of the best finishers in our conference um, when she can get downhill. Um, so, yeah, just trying to get her the ball more on the block and get her in driving situations. And then defensively in our zone at the bottom of it, she just understands it so well. Um, she's always communicating. And then she leads us from also a faith aspect as well. Um, and then Izzy, uh, eighth and Dito, she, um, she came back from Austria. So she studied abroad this past semester, but she was involved. You know, it's a six hour time difference, I think. She was involved in every team meeting via Zoom. Um, and she was just there to, you know, be there for the team and everything, just sending words of encouragement via text. And, uh, you know, she was just awesome to hear uh, from every now and then, especially on a game day. And now she's come in and she's just been, you know, a really good scout team player for us where she's able to run the offense um, and do, you know, a lot of things that we will see in a game um, and prepare us for the week. So. Well, I know that you had also mentioned previously your leading score and rebounder in Madison Doan, and she's been a little bit banged up this year, but obviously yeah. returning, you know, your leading score and rebounder from a year ago, I'm sure it kind of gives you a little bit of reassurance as a coach. Yeah. How much was that a, a help and kind of just a, an overall benefit to the program and the team to bring back a player like that for this year? Uh, it was massive, um, you know, and she, yeah, it's her, Kiara McGillivray and Jazzy Melnick are, are kind of our big three right now. And then Lauren, Lauren Arena kind of runs the show and we got a couple of good freshmen. Um, but Maddie, I mean, I can't say enough about her. She, she had a ligament problem in her thumb and then um, had a shoulder problem over winter break. And she just comes back like she, you know, she was so excited to come back against Allegheny, told her she was starting, her face just lit up, and um, she just loves the game so much, loves this team so much, and it's been great to have her back because, um, you know, a six-foot-one presence in the middle of our zone and in the middle of our, in the middle of Rome in the paint, you know, is, is different than anyone else, and yeah, so she's been wonderful to have back. Um, she's been more of a passer recently, which has been really good. Uh, you know, she draws a double team and she commands so much attention from other teams that she's been able to realize, OK, they're doubling me from this way. I can kick it this way. And we've been able to put some talent around her on the perimeter. That's been really good. But averaging 16 and 10 and pretty much two blocks a game for us. So, uh, yeah, I think she's one of the top bigs in the conference. And I think she's only going to get better from here. Well, I know that we've got a whole nother half of basketball to be played here between you guys and the Wolverines. But before we let you go, coach, just want to hear, you know, for the rest of the season and as we kind of approach into February, what are some of the strengths that your team possesses right now that you feel need to continue to shine through in order for you guys to really finish out strong and make a push towards the playoffs? Yeah, we want. Yeah, that's the goal for us right now is to just make the PAC conference tournament. You know, we don't care if we're the eight seed, the seven, the six, the five. It doesn't matter to us. Um, but as we go down the stretch here, we really got to take care of the basketball. Um, and I keep telling them, guys, you know, we got to put the ball in the basket to score. Uh, you know, it's obvious. Um, and scoring leads to winning games. So just focusing on, you know, being disciplined in the half court and maybe, yeah, that's an OK shot or a good shot. But let's pass that up for a great shot. Um, and then we've been really good on the offensive glass this year. Um, and then losing Maddie, you know, we realized how, you know, how pivotal she was that, but, you know, continuing to win every rebounding battle and every game that we're in, that's something that, you know, has been a staple of our program. And we just want to continue to do that. Um, and then our defense just flying around. We really want to be pressuring in the half court. We do run a zone, but we really want to press in the half court in that zone and be flying around and ultra disciplined and make it seem like, you know, you're playing 5v8 in the half court um, when you're when you're you know, going up against us. So, um, yeah, put score focusing more on scoring and on the offensive end, crashing the glass, and then, uh, you know, speeding teams up in the half court has been something we've Hopefully, we'll continue to do here in, in the future. Well, Coach, we really appreciate your time today, and we wish you all nothing but luck moving forward through the rest of the season. Thank you, uh, Jack. Thanks for having me on. I uh, really appreciate it, and thanks. Keep doing what you guys are doing over at Pat Sport, Pac Sports Network. It's it's uh, it's a great thing. I know our student-athletes love it, so 
Um, thanks again for everything. And uh, yes, get back to the second half. That's Coach Sean Kirk of Franciscan Women's Basketball. Folks, don't go anywhere as we'll have more action after the half right after this.